Hello. Hi, everybody. It's Angela Gill from the MHP Foundation. I'm here with Michelle England, who is the clinical supervisor at MHP's maternity department. Um, I want to kind of give you a little refresher on what we're doing here with these videos in case you haven't been watching, but it's our end of the year campaign. Um, we are kicking off on Giving Tuesday, which is December 1st today, and we have um, five or six projects that we have asked our staff to come up with, and they are funding the projects through their own giving, and then we're also inviting the public to help us with those projects. So Michelle is going to talk a little bit today about safe sleep for infants. One of the projects is to achieve the safe sleep champion for MHP maternity department. So Michelle, tell us a little bit, what is this program? What's safe sleep? How does this work? Okay. Uh, well, so for Safe Sleep, um, that is a, it's a certification that we originally applied for back in 2018. And we were approved um, or certified as a Safe Sleep Leader, um, or what they called a silver level um, at through the Cribs for Kids Foundation. And so what that does is allow us to ensure that we are teaching our parents about the safe sleep um, surfaces and the, how to put their baby in um, a, a safe sleep environment and ensuring that once they go home that the environment that that baby is in is safe for them. Um, so the goal of safe sleep is to decrease the infant mortality uh, for babies um, that we deliver here at MHP and in Shelby County. Um, so what that does is allows us to teach the parents basically what is safe sleep? So safe sleep is your baby is always sleeping alone. Your baby is always sleeping on their back and not with a bunch of covers and blankets and fluffy things and, you know, fluffy sleep surfaces and fluffy blankets and toys and bumper pads and all of those things that could potentially cause uh, your baby to um, be in an unsafe sleep environment and potentially cause suffocation. Um, so what this grant will allow us to do is um, provide cribettes um, to our moms and dads and babies um, that deliver here at MHP um, that they can have a safe sleep surface. So basically we have a uh, postpartum home visit nurse that goes out to the home two to three days after you go home. And what this does is allows that, that nurse to go into the home. And what she does is when she gets there, she evaluates their, their sleeping environment. Um, and so what the, she does is if she finds that this you know, baby is potentially in an unsafe sleep environment, then she can then, um, you know, give them a cribette to ensure that this baby is in a safe sleep environment. That's great because you can talk about it all day long, but if a person does not, um, maybe they can't afford the, the, the cribbit on their own or, you know, you got a new baby, maybe they just can't get around to getting one. Yeah. Um, that, that, that just takes care of it bang right then. And um, yeah. you've really done all you can do, I think, to make yeah. sure that that baby has a safe place to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, kind of part of that program is that while they're here in the hospital, that we're modeling that behavior. Um, so we're making sure that while they're here in the hospital, they're in a sleep, a sleep sack um, that they are provided to have here in the hospital. And then we also provide them with a sleep sack to take home with them as well. Um, so we, we're making sure that that baby is always, you know, kind of modeled to be in a safe sleep environment here in the hospital because they've shown that what, you, what the parents see here is what they will do at home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that vividly with my kids. It was yeah. lay them on, back then in the old days, 30 years ago, <laughs> you laid them on your, their stomach. And you, so you have this sleeping baby up here and you're trying to get them in there on their <laughs> belly. It was really hard. It is really and, hard. <laughs> yeah. But this, and so now they say to lay them on, on their back, right? That is correct. Yes. Yeah. Well, Always on their back. What's the thinking on that? Um, um, well, so um, if you think about it, it's kind of a little less than an anatomy. Um, so the airway um, is in front of the tube, the esophagus, where the food goes down. Um, so if they're laying on their back, typically the esophagus is below their air airway. Um, so if they do kind of spit up a little bit, they're, 
you know, the safest place for them to be is on their back because they're going to just swallow that back down. Yeah. So it's not going to, they're not going to kind of aspirate it into their lungs because it's not going in their airway. Because that's really dangerous. If yes. They aspirate it, it yes. Into their lungs. Yeah. I yeah. think that the thinking back then, the old thinking was on their belly, they wouldn't breathe it in. That it would go out. It would, it would go out. And it would yeah. come out. But yeah. And sometimes yeah. it did. Yes. Um, yeah. And and then they'd roll their face around in it. And absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, it's just kind of a basic anatomy lesson. <laughs> mm-hmm. So on their backs to sleep. On their backs. No, no um, covers. No covers. Um, they can be in a sleep sack, um, kind of swaddled up um, in a sleep sack. Uh, and then um, obviously no, no blankets over them, over their face, no pillows, nothing fluffy in their bed with them. So no, no stuffed animals, no bumper pads. Um, all of that is considered um, not to be a safe sleep environment. And the surface should be... Firm. Very firm. Yeah. Very firm. Yeah. You know, you think about, you know, we all as adults like those nice, soft, comfy, you know, pillow top mattresses, but those are definitely um, not the safe sleeping spot for your baby. Mm-hmm. That's out for a baby. So nice, yes. nice and firm. Oh, Correct. Good. Is there anything else that you'd like to share today? I feel like we really... Oh, no, I feel like we've hit it all. I mean, I think that we um, are just really doing all we can here at MHP to make sure that we're keeping our babies safe. So um, we appreciate everyone's donations and help to make this happen. Okay. Well, thank you. We appreciate the work that you're doing. And um, just like, for everybody, this is one of my favorite departments to go visit. <laughs> you know, partly because um, the, the feeling, the, the camaraderie, and, and it's, it's yeah. always a happy time over there. And the, um, yeah. Sometimes they have little babies. Not that I get to, hold them, <laughs> I get to look at them, and yes. it's really fun. So, and we do enjoy you department. coming to see us as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a great department. And um, if you are considering a baby or looking for a place to have your baby, come see place. us. Yeah, it's yeah. a great place to be. Yeah, so they'll take good care of you, and they'll make sure you know how to take care of your baby when you get home. Yes. So, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. For you're all welcome. You do. All right. Thank you. I'll see you. Thanks. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.